This tutorial is going to cover IDP initiated authentication and how to implement with keystroke flows. This tutorial is specific to Okta. However, it's applicable to all IDPs. Per our documentation, you need to add a condition to your flow to see if the authentication is IDP initiated. To do that, we'll come over to the DScope console, we'll select the sign up or end flow, and we will come down and we're going to add this action here. We will select the plus sign, add a condition, we'll name the condition, and then we'll set the condition name and configure the condition. We will select IDP initiated here and select if true. We will then connect the start to this and then if IDP initiated will connect to SSO, else we're gonna pass it back to the welcome screen. We can then save our flow. In order to use IDP initiated authentication, you'll need to configure your redirect URL. Your redirect URL should be the same place that your flow is hosted. For this example, we're going to host our flow at localhost 3001. So we can copy this URL, go back to the tenant, go to SSO configuration and update and save the redirect URL. We can now test the IDP initiated authentication utilizing an incognito browser. So we open our incognito browser and we copy the embedded link from Okta. Go to that embedded link, enter the user's details, and then the user is logged in. We can now try that again since the user's logged into Okta and the user's logged in again. To recap this tutorial, we enabled IDP initiated authentication within DScope. We added the condition within our flow to check if it's IDP initiated, and we configured the redirect URL.